hey what's going on guys welcome back to the vfx showdown so in this tutorial we're going to create this volumetric light effect inside after effect using the trap code shine effect and as you see we apply the shine effect in live action footage so in the youtube a lot of tutorials about the volumetric lights but i don't see any effect apply on the live action footage so then i think i can make a volumetric light on the live action footage using a third party plugin so i try the cc force motion blur to create this volumetric light but it's not perfect so i try the shine and as you see the result it is perfectly displaying the volumetric light realistic as you see pretty cool and i am in half resolution so that's why you see this kind of stuff if i change to full you will see the very nice volumetric light and the rays so let's set this up and if you considering this footage this is one of my friend give me this footage and and ask me to do a volumetric light effect he saw on youtube video copilot and other tutorials so he asked me can can you make a volumetric light on my footage so then i think yeah i can do so this is just a experiment tutorial and i think i need and then i think uh, i i need to show you guys how to make a volumetric light on your live action footage so this is the tutorial going to start so i have the footage and we drop this into a new composition like so and move forward and as you see this is the original light as you see and this footage have a lot of noise so you don't care about here so let's apply a shine go into effects and preset type shine so this is the trap code shine if you don't have shine don't worry you can go you can go to the trap code website and you can get a free trial for this i think uh, 30 days i don't know exactly i will link in the video description you can check that out the plugins okay so here is the default shine applied so first we need to change the blending mode so in, let me change so as you see if i move this as you see this part and we need a uh, lights so as you see natural lights so every footage have a different so just play around this blending mode and we need to raise and the boost raise maybe one okay and then go to the colorize and turn off effect first and just sample the colors to your original footage so this is where is the best color part i think this one so as you see this is the orange red color as you see warm color and here so the in the shadow area we're going to select this one using the pick whip and just play the color setting like that and you can enable and we need to change this one mid 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 tone this white this brighter part so let me select this one and then enable and you will see it is match almost so you need to tweak a little bit to get the result so then this is pretty good and as you see the light direction is not perfectly correct so as you see it is going downward we want to face directly to the camera so here is the source point you can move the source point down just a little bit to the align this light areas so as you see something like this and as you see the light is coming towards the camera okay and as you see in the original one the rays is too big and too powerful so how to do that go into the shimmer i i don't know what to call so go inside and increase the amount maybe 100 and as you see if you increase more you get a more brighter and the rays so 
can you see now what we are getting so maybe i think 100 it's good maybe 200 and other thing we notice that if we switch off the effect you will see the in the in the footage we have a warm color almost and that's why the shimmer is not doing its work properly so change back to the 100 and we need to go into the colorize again and the base on we need to change that to the red why we change because the footage have a warmer color and the in the red so that's why there is no lightness so i so i experiment and the red one is is perfect for this specific footage so that's why and i think we need to increase the rate maybe one two ray boost three I think three and the shimmer increase that one 130 i think just play around setting and you will get the result so i'm going to just sample this color so in my original one as you see the shadow one just copy the color information and paste it over here so this is the shadow one so as you see now it's looking pretty good and go back okay and the highlight is white so we have the same effect so if i increase the shimmer more maybe 200 you will get we have more details and we can increase the source and we can increase the detail 20 so the shimmer have more details so what i mean let me show you quickly so as you see the hands the hands are connected connecting to the layer so if i increase 100 you will see the different result maybe 15 so 23 okay looks pretty good and using the source point so it is moving with our hands and creating this nice volumetric light effect as you see pretty good and we can keyframe the shine opacity so the before and after simple and boost maybe 1.2 to get the powerful light effect and here is the another example for my friend's project footage as you see let me quickly show with the half rate so here is the start here you see nice volumetric light so I disable you will see this is the original one and this is the with shine volumetric light effect pretty good so go inside the shine and experiment and if you consider what is this this logo I am basically apply a mask so this mask so the effect is not affected inside of this mask it is only affecting the outside so what I did basically if you open up this error and go inside the effect the shine one and here is the composition option and open up and you see the mask reference if I deselect and if I select you will see the difference I am basically the feathering the mask so that's why this is so you know what is this so if I move this over here you will see it is cut off so this is basically it does because I don't want the shine affecting inside of his body I only want is affecting the red lightness and we just the remove gray grain to removing the noise in this footage so as you see this noise if I disable you will see a lot of crappy noise as you see if I enable so a little bit blurry so I don't care about that blur so so that's the tutorial guys hope you enjoy and give 
the chance of the shine and make your footage pop up and make some awesome volumetric light with your live action footage so thank you for watching and make sure to check out our new astro pack for element 3d so link in the video description and also the youtube card so that's it okay we will see you in our next one have a great day